Hi, hoppers. Before we get into our class today, I have something super special that I want to share with you. So this week on Friday, we are planning on doing something special in the morning. So at 10 o'clock, we're going to have a Zoom meeting. We'll send out a little uh, email about this and we're going to do a little story time. So I'd love to connect with you guys and read one of my favorite karate stories for you. It should be super fun. Uh, I know not everybody will be able to make it. Other people may have other Zoom meetings or something like that going on. So don't feel bad if, if you miss it. I will record the story and I'll also post it on the YouTube channel later. But I, I'd love to connect with you guys live. I think that would be super fun. So again, be on the lookout for an email from Master Cosby talking about our story time. Friday this week at 10 o'clock. All right, guys, here comes your class. Hi, grasshoppers, Master C here. Got another awesome class for you. I'm really excited. We got some cool ideas for sparring week this week. So I hope you have a good time with us. Um, before we get started, you know I have a cow joke for you. And by the way, this cow joke comes from one of our ninjas here. Uh, he's one of the advanced students. His name is Ben. And he sent me this joke. It is, what do cows like to read in the morning? We'll find out that answer at the end of class, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and bow in so you guys can repeat after me. Say feet together. Feet together. Hands by your side. Hands by your side. Eyes straight ahead. Eyes straight ahead. And bow. And bow. Good, turn and face the flags. Right hand over your heart. Cookie bare. Cookie bare. Bado. Bado. Good, face the pictures of the grand masters. Kwan Chan Yin, Chariot. Chariot. Kunye. Kunye. Face this way, chariot. Chariot. Kunyet. Kunyet. Excellent, guys. We are going to dive into our warm up, and we got some cool sparring movement that we're going to work. So, you might notice I have two of my friends here with me. I've got a couple of the push up pigs. Uh, you might need to pause the video so you can grab a couple stuffed animals, or if you had some cones or something like that, that would be great. Um, so, again, if you need to pause it, feel free to do so. When you put these your animals down on the ground, they don't need to be super far apart, okay? We're starting with some footwork that I call side to sides, okay? So you're gonna have your hands up, kind of like in a defensive posture, and your job is just to hop from one side to the other side. So again, notice that I'm not going really far apart. They're kind of spread out about where like a good horse stance would be. Hands are up, one side, other side. One side, other side. One side, other side. I'm gonna put 20 seconds on there, so work hard guys, and I'll see you right back here in just a moment. Great job with round one guys. For round two, oh yeah, we are bringing out the motivator. So you're gonna need one of your people at home to help you with this. If they have a noodle, awesome, that would be great. If you have something else that's kind of like long and not too painful to get hit with, that would be great too. Or they can kind of just use their hand if they're moving nice and slow. So I'm gonna turn my back for this one, but here's kind of how it's gonna work. This time, when I hop to one side, Master Cosby's gonna swing and I'm gonna squat under. Hop the other side, she swings and I squat under again. So if I do it a couple times, it might look something kind of like this. And so on. So I'll give you guys 20 seconds on the clock. Have a little fun with that one, and I'll see you right back here. All right, guys, final round for our side to sides. Before we were just hopping, then we added hop and squat. Notice how I'm kind of pushing off with one leg. That is gonna be tricky for the little ninjas, but I have a feeling they can handle it. Now for this last round, we're gonna hop to the side, squat under the noodle, and then my partner's gonna have a target or a pillow or something like that that I can kick. I'm just gonna do a front kick, boom, right on the target. So I'm not kicking super hard, I'm just kind of moving, squat, boom, and kick. It's my choice each time which leg I decide to kick with, 
but I would encourage you to do some kicks with one leg, some kicks with the other. It's gonna look something like this. Are you in the case for this? Yeah. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna hop to the side, squat under, and front kick. Hop to the side, squat, kick. Oh, oh. And so on. So for this last round, I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds, work hard, and come on back. Great job with that side to side sequence. We are going to reorient our animals, guys, and we're gonna go front to back this time. So I'm gonna move one of my little pigs right up here in front, other little pig right back here to the back. Again, they don't have to be super far apart. I might want a little more than that maybe, but the idea for the first round, hopping forward, hop back. Landing on one leg each time, keeping my hands up the whole time, making sure I don't step on my friends. All right, 20 seconds on the clock, have some fun, and we'll see you back here. All right, guys, round two for forward and back. I kind of reoriented my pigs again. I think it'll be easier for you to see this if I turn sideways. So I got my awesome partner here again with the noodle. This time I'm going to start at the animal that's close to my partner. She's still doing those horizontal swings. When she swings at me, I'm going to hop back. When she draws back again, I hop forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Notice how I'm keeping my hands up the whole time. All right, 20 seconds on the clock, guys. We'll see you right back here. Round three guys, final round for these front to backs. My partner's here with the noodle again and they have a target this time. So I'm starting in close. When she swings horizontally, I gotta hop out of the way. Then she'll put the target up. Notice I'm too far to hit it from here. So I gotta hop back forward and kick. She swings, I get out of the way, target comes out, move back in to kick. Boom, 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 boom. And so on. Since this is the last round here, we're gonna give you those 30 seconds again. Work hard.
All right, guys, we're gonna work on some sparring. Uh, we will be doing some belt sparring today. Now, a lot of you guys picked up those at-home training kits. I think there were a couple of belt pieces in there for most of them. If you didn't pick one up or you just want more belt pieces, you can certainly uh, use lots of other things. Uh, before we had belt pieces, I think we might've even used socks at one point in time. So you can use socks, or if you have like flag football type things, obviously you could use those flags or like a tape or like a little washcloth. So there's lots of things that you could use as belt pieces. Um, for parents also, if you don't train, if you don't have a dobok or karate belt, uh, you can tuck these into like your pockets on your pants. You can call it pocket sparring. So you can put a, like one each of your front pockets. So you have a back pocket, you could slide one right in there. So you could have uh, belt pieces in your pockets. Now here's the challenge for the very first round. The little ninjas, their job is to be on offense only. So parents at home or siblings that are helping them, you're going to have the belt pieces on you in your pockets or if you do train in your belt and your little ninja is gonna try to grab them up. So I'm gonna grab up Master Cosby here and she is going to be the student and I'm gonna be like the parent, I guess. So I've got the belt pieces here. Now, since she's on offense only, I wanna make it a challenge for me. I don't want it to be where I can easily keep her away if she was much smaller than me that by just you know running away from her. So I can only move my feet a little bit and I have to have my eyes closed. So if the ninja's really sneaky, they may be able to snatch those up without me even noticing. Now, parents, you might actually want to peek just a little bit so that you don't step on them. Some of them are quite sneaky, okay? So, so anyway. So for this round, <laughs> I've got my hands up. I'm ready to defend the little ninjas over here. So, well, they're already starting close up to grab them. You've got to move back a little bit or something, right? <laughs> so I've got my eyes closed. I'm really listening. Good. Oh, no. Uh oh, she's trying to distract me by flapping over there. <laughs> so I obviously didn't step at all. You can move some because it'll be really hard if you could only move your hips. But feel free to move around a little bit and have some fun with this, guys. Uh, get in, you know, you can do several rounds if you want. I've got a few more iterations of this drill that we're going to work. So feel free to pause the video. I'll put a little screen up, but you can pause it for a few minutes if you want to play this for several rounds. And then I'll see you back here for the next step in just a moment. All right, guys, round two. First of all, I hope you had fun with that first round. Now, round two. This time, the ninja is gonna be on defense only. Before they were on offense, now they are on defense. So my job is to try to get the belt pieces from them. So if you're tiny again. Hard to hop in. Now, there's no need for her to have her eyes closed. Okay, I'm a lot bigger in this scenario, so it should be, uh, I should have quite the advantage. Now here's the challenge for me or for you as the parent there is when I snatch a belt piece, I cannot be rough with them. I can't like grab them and like sling them around and then grab it. I have to try to grab that belt piece without really touching them much at all. That will be my challenge. So if I go to reach in and grab the belt piece, if she touches me, I have to pull my hand back, okay? I can't just be stronger and just like push through that and grab the belt piece. So we're moving around a little bit. I'm trying to be quick to snatch it. She's able to block. Yeah, obviously I can move at any speed that, that I need to that makes sense for my partner. Right? If I'm working with somebody that's really young, then I'm not gonna go whip it in there. I'm gonna go nice and slow, they'll get a good block. All right, so take a few minutes, guys. You can pause it on this next freeze frame and uh, have a little fun with round two. Awesome guys, final round for our belt sparring for today or our pocket sparring as we were calling it. So you were going to need probably at least like four belt pieces or a belt piece sock combination for this one. Uh, we worked on offense, we worked on defense. Of course, now we're going to put it together, okay? So um, if Master Cosby is a student and I was like the parent, she would obviously be smaller than me and we'll be moving around. I don't need to keep my eyes closed this time because 
I, I can imagine that would be a hard challenge trying to get to that belt piece without being able to see. Um, but I still need to be super gentle. If I reach in and she blocks, I have to pull back, okay? I'm trying to move around. The ninja on this side, um, it's hard when she's on her knees, but she should be trying to move with her forward and back movement or her side to side type movement instead of just walking around or running around. So we're both on offense, we're both on defense, all at the same time. It's like a full on belt spar. So we will be moving. Ah, oh, she got that block on me. Ah, oh, I thought she got good, nice. And we will continue playing. So get a few rounds of this guys, come right back. Got a fun finish for you today. And we'll see you back here in a few minutes. I hope you had a great time with all the sparring today. I do have a little bit of a game slash challenge for you to finish. We are gonna be doing some breaking today. Now, you may be wondering, how are we going to do that? We may not have boards. You have something that you can use. It's quite precious, in fact. We're gonna be doing some paper breaking. Now, I'll grab a couple of my materials here. So, first thing I'd recommend would be like a piece of Paper towel, right, real simple. I know paper towel and toilet paper are exceedingly difficult to come by and very, very uh, valuable, precious right now, but we're gonna use these as, as a breaking kind of material for us for today. So I'll borrow Master Cosby. Obviously lots of techniques that we could use. We could use punches or elbows or front kicks. You'll find the paper towel can tear relatively easily, so it's a good place to start. So let's say that maybe Master Cosby was, was trying to do her elbow strike this inward elbow. We worked on some uh, a week or so ago. She's coming through. And uh, parents, whenever you're doing the um, holding, make sure that you keep it taut, right? So I don't want you to rip it, but looser is harder. So keeping it taut is something that you want to think about when we're trying for the break. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no problem, right? So come right through with elbow strike, or if you want a little bit more challenge, Oof. good. We could use like loose leaf paper or printer paper. So this is actually pretty tough. If she's holding it here and I'm using something really flat like a punch, this can be really difficult. That paper can give me a fair amount of resistance. If I was doing something like a spear strike, obviously that would likely cut it and it would tear it through easily. So if your ninja wants a little bit more of a challenge, right, maybe angle down, I'll do a little front kick. Then, boom, we can be kicking at it, right, with the printer paper. So. That is actually a pretty fun challenge for breaking, and I have a feeling your ninjas will have a good time with it as well. Let me get one more shot of that. Oh, he wants it. Good. Good. So, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll finish off our cow joke here. It was, what do cows like to read in the morning? The moose paper, of course. Thank you, Ben, for saying that one in, and uh, we'll see you guys again a little bit later in the week.